Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where we're here on our USA road trip in Branson, Missouri for a visit to an alpine coaster. We're doing the Runaway Mountain Coaster. Oh, this is one of three alpine coasters in the area. When I was here in 2019, I did the Branson Sawmill and enjoyed that. Uh, there's also another alpine coaster, but it's closed at the moment, it seems, whilst yeah, we're we here. Yeah, we drove past and it was all closed up, which is a shame. But this one's open and you know what? This is the longest of the three, so I'm excited for oh, this. Oh, looking forward to it. Yeah, the sun's going down here in Branson. It's a very touristy area around here they have got a drop tower here too uh, you may have seen my video from that here on the channel and of course you've got silver dollar city where we both had an amazing day there oh, didn't it we was so good i absolutely loved it oh of course and yeah we've got lots of other videos coming up from our usa road trip here on theme park worldwide but of course we've done lots of parks 25 parks this trip in total but there's a lot of smaller attractions and things to see along the way and this is one of them tonight and what's great about these attractions is they all offer free parking, um, loads of spaces down here, literally you just pull off the main road, park up out the front, and yeah, ticket booths just over here. And yeah, I've never done this one before, but like I say, it's the longest in the area, Vigand Alpine Coaster, 4,700 feet of track, so I think it's going to be pretty good length to actually, hopefully with this, this is always the problem with Alpine Coasters, you don't want somebody going slow in front of That's you. And you've got someone really slow because you just have to keep stopping all the time. <laughs> we'll see how we get on, but yeah, it's got some nice lights. We're going to get the best of both worlds here because we're going to get it still light so we can see up there um, on the mountain, but also we've got all the pretty lights on as well. But so, yeah, we'll let you know prices and all that kind of stuff. We'll also be able to take you on with on ride footage. At the top, push your handlebars down once you pass the building. So, before you buy your ticket, you actually need to come over here and watch the, the safety video throughout the downhill ride. Please only stop in an emergency and always stay in your car. During the daytime, we ask that you stay at least 80 feet from Oh, the that's what you want. And at night time or at the Oh, look at the lights. Right, we ask that you please stay at least 180 feet from the car ahead of you. Okay, so you need to watch that. As you approach and then also the fill out the form just here on the iPad. Slow your car to a moderate speed. Sure to get started. Once there we go. I'll put on my name and everything. Now we'll be good to go and buy a ticket. And so we watched the video, all signed with everything, and we got our tickets just here. So including tax, $20 per person. Let's go and experience it. There we go. Thank you. Hey, here we go. So yeah, they say that it's a five minute ride, including the climb up. Look at all the lights just here. Fantastic. Hey. <laughs> Got me handles at the side. Yeah, we're riding this at a good time, actually. All the lights. Oh, look at the water down there. That's really pretty. Should we make our way up? But yeah, it's actually $18 and then plus the tax. Yeah, it makes it $20 to ride per person. And if it was $12, if you want to have somebody sat in front of you on here. So if you and Charlotte were on the same one, she would have been $12. Really? Plus tax. <laughs> of course, in America. Lighting's awesome. Really cool. And the good thing is, there is a massive gap. Like, nobody in front of me, which I'm pleased about. As we climb up just here in Branson, Missouri. Having an amazing time, though, on the US trip. And, of course, make sure you check out the other vlogs. If you haven't already, there's a dedicated playlist here on Theme Park Worldwide for you to enjoy. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to get any, like, scenery at the top here or not. I mean, we're in a lovely area with all the mountains around, or if it's just going to all be closed in with all the trees. I am not too sure. Participation right but we'll find out. Control of your Please pay attention to all signs and road instructions coming up. But for now, enjoy the sights and sounds of Branson Adventure Mountain. Adventure Mountain. <laughs> Looking for bears out in these mountains. <laughs> yeah, you just chill out. You don't need to keep your hands kind of down holding it or anything yet. So you can see you've got the bars here. When we get to the top, you control the speed that you want to go on these. Here's somebody coming down. Oh, it looks pretty good. Oh, it's a long lift, Del. Yeah, we've done so many of these now. Oh, that's cool. Playing like bear sound effects and stuff. You hear that? <laughs> there might be real ones out here though, you never know. <laughs> yeah, I like how they put a lot of thought in. Oh, we've got some flashing kind of strobe lights down here too. You know what would be, oh! <laughs> that would be scaring Charlotte out of that behind me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what would be awesome? Uh, a big animatronic bear coming out from the side. That'd really make it. Imagine, people would be terrified. Or somebody dressed up in like a bear costume. Blimey, what a, what a trip up here. 
behind the garden. You're my favourite alpine character I've ever done at the moment. He's still the Hasenhorn in the Germany. The longest and fastest mountain coaster in the Midwest. Runaway mountain coaster. So all his fastest and longest in the Midwest. Well, there you go. Yeah, I wanted to get this in before, but uh, yeah, I didn't get round to it. So I have much more time to get and see more things this trip, which has been great. Look at this climb. This is crazy. Yeah, that must be about 80 feet then between me and the person who's way up there. Or maybe it looks a bit more than that, possibly. <laughs> this is one of the longest climbs I've ever done on one of these. People coming down. Hey. <laughs> It was breaking a little bit. I don't really break much at all on these. Some of the more newer ones are fitted with like auto braking. So hopefully this isn't one of those. <laughs> oh, it looks like some pretty steep drops and turns on this one. I'm really excited. How far are we up? Loads of flashing lights. I bet it's really good when it's pitch black as well, this one. Big helix there. <laughs> I think we're nearly there. How long have we been going for now? A long time. They say a five minute ride is longer than that. Remember to push your handles down, and after passing the building, you'll be in complete control of your car. <laughs> oh, I think this is the top coming up. Gotta to travel the long way up here. Blimey. All the sound effects are good. Oh, there's a, a pheasant just down there. Not a real one, a fake one. We're literally getting the best of both worlds with this ride. So you can still see all the foliage and the forest, but also get to enjoy the lighting. Oh, no, it's still going. Oh, my God. Nearly there, though. I like how there's an access road on the left for doing maintenance. Blimey, that was a climb. <laughs> After passing the building, you're in control of your car. There we go. Some final reminders. Maintain a moderate speed on the downhill track. A moderate that speed. <laughs> yeah, that moderate speed. Oh, there's a member of staff up here. That must be a really lonely job. Oh, there we go. There's some bears there. See ya. <laughs> and here we go. Finally made it to the top, like five minutes later. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I can't see Charlotte coming up. Hey, I'm wrong. Oh, build up good speed already. Is that Charlotte? Hey, there she is. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Bye. See you at the bottom. Whoa. Woo. <laughs> Airtime. Hey. Woo. Oh, yeah, close to some of the branches. Ready for it, viewers? We got a bit of he likes, he likes, he likes. Hey! Woo! Oh, it's quite a bumpy one. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, five it! Way! Double down! Woo! <laughs> Love the little drops. It's like you're gonna come flying out. I'm not brake once yet. I can't feel any auto braking kicking in either. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh, what a view! Way! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I'm right, photo! Oh, this is fast! Whoa! <laughs> oh, fly me! <laughs> Woo! Oh, there we go! When's the auto braking kick in? Oh, wait! That's it! There we go! Woo! There we go. Wow. That was quite something. Woo. Did you have fun? Oh, it was fantastic. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Hey, here comes Charlotte. <laughs> oh, she's been breaking a little bit there. <laughs> here she comes. <laughs> it's like a disco going on. Let's find out what she thought. Well, there we go. All right, footage from the Runaway Mountain Coaster here in Branson, Missouri. Definitely one of the best Alpine coasts I've ever been on. And how was your ride? That was absolutely brilliant. Like the lights going up the lift. But going up that lift, I was so scared. So all of a sudden, I heard like, 
like <laughs> snorting and stuff. And I looked at my son and there was like this rubber water and I thought it was real. <laughs> so I was on edge the rest of the lift. Literally, I said in the GoPro footage, like I bet Charlotte is getting really scared I because of all the noises. let out a little scream. <laughs> it was really up in the wilderness there though, it wasn't was, it? It was, like the location wise, it was fantastic. We were climbing for a good five minutes there, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, the gentleman said to me, he was like, you got a five minute climb. I was like, okay. And it was beautiful. I've got to say, we did it at the perfect timing because we got all the lighting, but also we got to still see the scenery from up there as well. There was no views like really looking out too much other than when we got near the bottom with the helix. Um, but you know what? The ride itself was great because I didn't really feel any auto braking kicking in sometimes on these. Like we got one back in the UK in Wales and as soon as you start pick, picking up a bit of speed and um, then yeah, it auto brakes. This one really doesn't it do that. It did all. That rode so well. I loved it. Yeah, it's one of the best. Maybe my second favourite one I've done. I still think the best one is the Hasenhorn oh, Mountain Coaster in Germany. That's still my favourite one I've done. Um, but you know what? I thought that was great. It's nearly 5,000 feet long. Um, they are quite expensive when you think about these roadside attractions, but they're well worth doing, especially if you're coming to Silver Dollar City. Like I say, there's two others in the area as well. Um, I covered the Branton Sawmill back in 2019. And of course, uh, yeah, there's another one we're hoping to do, but that's closed at the closed, moment. But, but I love this one. This is great. I mean, this is the biggest and the longest one in the I area. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and it's got really busy now. So uh, we've, we've we did, did it at the, the right, right time. time because that's the thing. You also don't want somebody too close in front. I did notice though, especially on the safety briefing and at the start, they were really strict on the whole kind of 80 foot distance. So hopefully if you're coming down here, even if it's busy, they're going to keep a good distance between you. If you have somebody going slow in front, it can ruin your ride on there. They left quite a big distance between me and you though before I set out. Yeah, which is good. I mean, I wasn't going to be using my brake no, on there. I used mine. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I didn't use it once. I thought I was going to derail at one point oh. coming down on there. But uh, no, it was good fun. Really enjoyed it. The great rides, these Alpine coasters. And uh, yeah, really good fun. But so uh, now I enjoyed it down here. We can take you on with a POV. And of course, yeah, another coaster to add to the collection. And another Alpine coaster. And this one was really good fun. Definitely one of the best. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. But of course, check out all of our other vlogs on the trip. We're having an amazing time out oh, here, aren't we? having the best time ever. Oh, there's just so much out here to see. So many parks, so many roadside attractions. And of course, it's all featured in the playlist here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, but from the Runaway Mountain Coaster, that leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next video.